Thanks for joining me. My name is Josh Knight with RideWithTheKnights.com. Have you ever wondered how the pros read terrain so quickly? Well, in this video, we're gonna be discussing a few tips that are gonna help you read terrain like the pros. One of the biggest differences between motocross and off-road riding is when you're racing or riding motocross, you're repeating the same lap. And you usually have a pretty good expectation of what you're gonna find each time you come around on another lap. The difference is with off-road terrain, you're navigating terrain for the very first time, often in a race scenario or at really high speed. Have you guys ever wondered how some of your top off-road riders or some of the pros navigate terrain so quickly? Well, we're gonna talk about a couple different things, break down the process, and share a few tips that are gonna help you become better at reading the terrain. One of the first things to understand is the process of how we read terrain. I like to break it down into three steps. Step number one is reading the terrain. Step two is analyzing the terrain. And step three is executing. What I mean by reading the terrain is looking ahead and interpreting what's in front of you. Often in off-road terrain, there's all sorts of different obstacles. And when we're reading, we're doing exactly that. We're interpreting what's ahead of us and getting ready to make decisions on our line choice. The second step is analyzing. That is where we take in what we just saw and make a decision on what to do. We need to decide if we're gonna stay left or go right. If we need to initiate braking or get on the throttle, adjust our body position accordingly. And the third step is executing. What I mean by executing is taking action on the decision we just made for that section of trail. This three-step cycle is continuous, it's ongoing. We're reading terrain, analyzing the terrain, and then executing that specific maneuver that we need to do. The quicker we're able to do this three-step cycle, the quicker we're gonna be able to ride on our motorcycles. Now, it's important to note that once we have executed that maneuver, we need to immediately begin reading terrain again. The pros do this really well in that they're constantly reading terrain and participating in this cycle. One of the most common mistakes I see beginning riders make is keeping their vision fixated on an obstacle all the way until it comes in contact with their front tires. Our bodies have the ability to perform a maneuver without actually keeping our eyes or our vision fixated on an obstacle. This is how you're gonna speed up this three-step cycle. When you're on the executing step, try and perform that action while returning your vision ahead on the trail. Take, for example, a section of trail that may have a ditch. By looking ahead, we read the terrain, recognize that there's a ditch, and make a decision on what we need to do. Simultaneously executing the jump or the maneuver that we're doing, we can then return our vision ahead and continue reading the terrain. The faster we're able to repeat this three-step cycle, the faster we're able to ride. I teach riders to follow a 90-10 rule when reading terrain. There are two ways you can apply this guideline. Number one, line choice. 90% of the time, I ride the main line. 10% of the time, I look for alternate lines. 90% of the time, the main line is the fastest and smoothest line. That's why it's the main line. However, within the remaining 10% of terrain, there are many opportunities to find alternate lines that may save time and energy. Spend 90% of your time riding the main line. Continually observe and analyze the terrain for quick alternate options. Usually these alternate lines will exist in difficult obstacles, corners, rocky sections, or split lines. It's real easy to fall into a habit of riding the main line 100% of the time. Be sure to distinguish between riding the main line 100% of the time versus the 90-10 rule. The second method to apply the 90-10 rule is regarding reading terrain and looking ahead. 90% of the time, I look far ahead. 10% of the time, I look really far ahead. Now, what does that mean? Well, far ahead can be defined as looking far enough ahead that you have time to interpret the terrain before actually coming in contact with your tires. This will vary between riders and skill levels. Just think of it as your normal viewing distance where you're looking when riding. In the remaining 10% of time, I'm looking really far ahead. This is what will separate you from beginning riders and elevate your riding. Taking the time to remove your gaze from the normal far ahead location to really far ahead gives you the opportunity to absorb more information from the terrain and pick up hints or details that may save time and energy in a few moments. Typically how I apply this rule is I spend most of my time reading the terrain far ahead. Every once in a while, usually when there's a geographical advantage such as a rise in the trail, cresting a hill, or looking out across a valley, 
I will remove my gaze for a brief moment and look really far ahead and observe any information I can. Whether racing or trail riding, there's a lot of different things to look for. You may get a glimpse of the trail ahead and see whether it turns right or left. You may recognize a significant wash that you should prepare for. You may see a trail of dust indicating the race course continues straight ahead or turns right up the valley. As you continue through your riding experience, you will begin to notice patterns and trends. Your ability to make lightning fast decisions will improve when practicing this principle. Those are a few of my tips and techniques to help you read terrain quicker and ride faster. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. And if you're interested in more content just like this, visit us at ridewiththenights.com. Thanks for watching.